Hi there and welcome to Studio Jakarta EE. Today I'll talk about the TCKs in Jakarta specifications. This beast is uh, usually surrounded by a little bit of mystique and uh, uh, not many people know how to actually execute them. So what I'll do today is to show how to run the TCK for MVC 2.0. This is not necessarily exactly the same way as you would run the TCK for other projects, but it will give you sort of a view of what the TCK is. So what I have here is the specification page for Jakarta MVC 2.0. It's not released yet, so it's currently just a preview, but it will give you a understanding of how it will look like when it is released. You can get all the information here, the specification document, the Java doc, and the TCK. And this is a zip file that you will download to your local computer in order to execute the TCK. Now I've prepared this and downloaded this TCK to uh, my computer here. So what I'll do is to unzip it. And, and then, uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> unzip. There you go. And, and then I'll, I'll uh, have a look at it. And, and as you see, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a couple of, of, of projects. And one that we are interested in here is uh, a sample project that you can use in order to, uh, to execute the, uh, the actual test. So let's, let's look at um, the sample project. And the sample project consists of one Java class and an Archelian uh, configuration. So let's look at uh, this one is, uh, as it says, Craso Glassfish provider. So it is a way of running the TCK for Craso with Glassfish as the underlying uh, application server. Let's look at the uh, Glassfish uh, Craso provider. Yeah. So here you can see uh, the only thing it does is to collect the dependencies and package them as a uh, uh, as as a web application, and this is deployed into uh, Glassfish and then executed by the TCK. And here I'm I'm using the latest version of everything. So then I need to ac uh, activate the uh, staging profile, which would give me the, the artifacts from the Jakarta staging repository. And in order to, to execute this TCK, I need to have Glassfish running. And I've started it here. So let's uh, also just uh, look at the logs so we uh, can, can see what's going on here. So it started. And uh, if I want to execute this uh, TCK, I'm, I'm simply doing a Maven verify. And if I want to have a a nicely formatted report to give me the result of my execution, I can activate the Surefire uh, report plugin. And that's it. So then I'll, I'll execute it and it will start uh, downloading the artifact it needs to be able to execute the TCK and run the tests for me using Glassfish as the container the uh, test subject is installed into. So when you see here, it just does the, the usual compilations and now the test starts. And when, te when the test starts, you will see in the Glassfish log that there is something going on there and it's uh, communicating to it. So here you see it's doing some deployments and uh, starting the uh, test uh, that uh, will be executed. And uh, this will take a couple of uh, minutes so I'll get back to you when uh, the, uh, all the tests have uh, completed. So you can see now that the tests are finishing up and we have a build success. So let's have a look at how the report looks like. And then I'll, I'll navigate to the uh, sample project where it's created the uh, Surefire report for me. And as you can see, there are 132 tests, and this execution had a 100% success rate, rate. And you can also dig down and see how uh, each of the tests are uh, distributed among the packages. So that was how you run the TCK for uh, Jakarta MVC. 
I uh, hope you will download your uh, the TCK and run it on your compatible implementation and send us a compatibility certification request and I'll look forward to approving it. Thank you for listening and see you again later.